Darren Kramer. Just in time for the Memorial Day weekend, a new law goes into effect now protecting an annual honor for veterans. To mark the holiday, veterans groups decorate the graves of those who served and sacrificed with American flags. And now those flags can keep flying until July by law. News Channel 8's Kent Pierce talked to some Valley veterans for their reaction. Kent, sounds like they need some more convincing. Is that right? Uh, that's right, Darren. And don't get me wrong, all the veterans we spoke to like this law a lot. In fact, it says flags must be allowed to stay on veterans' graves from Memorial Day to the 4th of July. But as much as they like it, they wonder how it's going to be enforced. This is a corporal, U.S. Army, Korea. You may not see them do it, but every year volunteers go through cemeteries all over Connecticut putting brand new American flags on the graves of veterans. There's very little done to honor the veterans that uh, they gave everyone the rights that they have. Definitely respect for what they've done for their country, how they served their country and everything, and so they won't be forgotten. The volunteers, mostly veterans themselves, are happy to put up the flags, but they don't usually take them down. The cemeteries do that themselves, and not always well. Well, now we put 10 gross of flags. That's, that's almost 1,500 flags. And I've seen maybe five or 600 disappear shortly after Memorial Day. Now, attrition <laughs> didn't get all those. They were either taken down, knocked down, or stolen. Which is not what the volunteers or the families of the veterans being honored want. So how long should these flags fly? The state has a new law about it. Shelton State Representative Jason Perillo co-sponsored the bill. Uh, and it goes from the Saturday before Memorial Day through the Monday after the 4th of July. So for that period of time, veterans can count on the fact, and the families of veterans can count on the fact, that their flags are going to be there. That's the law, but there's no fine for a cemetery that ignores the law, and some veterans think without some teeth to it, it won't do much good. I don't know how it's ever going to be enforced. What do you do if you have a problem? Uh, nobody seems to have addressed that as yet. So we asked the expert. We asked Representative Perillo about enforcement, and he says anyone who has a complaint about flags at a cemetery should contact the Department of Consumer Protection and file a form or complaint. Again, this law protects flags on veterans' graves from this coming Saturday until Monday, July 6th. I'm Kent Pierce. Darren, back to you.